Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression video. This is McCall's fall collection. I know it's November, I'm behind. I'm doing my very best to catch up. Um, but I think these are all still great patterns that will take us through um, multiple seasons even. So um, yeah, let's take a look at the new collection. If you're new here, if this is your very first first impression video, welcome. This is where I take a look at an entire sewing pattern collection. I review every single pattern that's in it. It's my first time ever looking at these patterns. So I just take in uh, my initial impression. Um, we talk about fit, we talk about fabrication, we talk about, you know, all the things. So if you like sitting and looking through pattern books with a friend, that's the vibe we're going for today. All right, so this is a Mrs. Dress with sleeve variations. We have sizes 4 to 12 and 14 to 22. Tweed sheath dress has sleeve length and pocket variation, scoop neckline, shoulder pads, invisible zipper closure. View A dress has self ruffles on sleeves and pockets and decorative buttons on pockets. Views B and C have purchase trim at neckline and pockets. Okay, so obviously when you see tweed, you automatically think of Chanel. Um, this is a very kind of girly take on Chanel with the ruffles and these like decorative buttons. Like a tweed sheath dress is totally not for me. I Even if I were going to like a holiday party, I'm not sure that I would think of tweed. The pink glittery tweed though is giving me reservations. Give me second thoughts about that. I would consider one of those. But this little detail is actually really easy to sew. It's just like a gather in the middle of a band kind of I guess is the best way to say it um but design wise I'm not seeing is this a seam or the or is this the tweed I think it's just a plain front cut on the fold which is shocking because we've got so much shape happening here I mean this is quite the curve um I don't see them in the line drawings here either. So I'm guessing we have fisheye darts in the back. Um, but yeah, kind of kind of shocking that they were able to get that done with very, like, I don't even see a dart, like a bus dart. Um, but the, the rounded neckline is really beautiful. I love that it's kind of high up. I do wish this were a skosh shorter. I know some of you were like, no, 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 you can see her whole kneecap. That's fine. I just like when necklines are really high for there to like there to be a little bit missing from here. Like no neckline. Give me some leg. <laughs> Full length maxi skirt. Give me some neckline. You know what I mean? Like to balance it out a little bit there. OK, here is the other version. Long sleeves has still the tweed, you know, how they what the how they pull apart the threads um, in this little baby pocket. And then you've got this happening here. I'm guessing you make your own trim. I don't know. We'll see in the on the back of the envelope. This little pearl eyelash stuff I've seen before. So I know that's purchased. Um, and this one has no sleeve adornment at all. Here's the back. Okay, so we do have a center back zipper. We do have fisheye darts. The sleeve here though, I noticed this on the front of her as well. Hold on. Yeah, it's like pulling around to the front. I can't tell why. It got plenty of room. It's not too small on her. This isn't too high up. Um, I don't really know what is causing that sleeve to twist like that other than her twisting her body. So we're gonna assume that that's what's going on there. <laughs> Um, giving them the benefit of the doubt here. This is the, okay, so let me show you these. There are darts in the front. I was like, that's just shocking. Okay, so there's darts here, bus dart, and technically fisheye darts that end into the pockets, but only on view A. Or they just forgot and left them off of these two. I don't know. They definitely didn't draw them into these illustrations either. So who knows? Uh, I would think that the fronts would all be the same. Um, I'm guessing that's a mistake, but I don't know. So gabardine, which is like, you probably have seen it like more in the way of like just suiting tweeds and wool blends. Um, contrast for C is crepe back satin or satin. 
And then we have lining fabrics. So you need an invisible, invisible zipper, a pair of shoulder pads, buttons, braided trim that's purchased for B, and then novelty trim that's purchased for C. So braided trim goes here and then you make your own fringe and then novelty trim goes here and you have no fringe. Um, okay, so four to 22, we have no finished garment measurements, but it's pretty fitted. So you're gonna be looking for like, I don't know, maybe two, three inches in the bust, same in the waist, maybe four in the hip, um, but you're definitely gonna go for this hourglass shape. It is a really beautiful shape on her, for sure. It looks really kind of remarkable on her. Um, I hope they let her take that home. <laughs> it's like one of the best fitting things I've seen on a fit model in a long time. Okay, and then we go to this one. So you can see a, a good example on her and kind of not a great example on this woman. All right, so this is a top. It is size 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. Bias cut. Okay, okay. Have sleeve variations, deep V neckline with gathers above the bust. No, gathers below the bust. Unless... No, it's below the bust. Okay. Um, invisible side zipper, narrow hems. View A and C have scalp lace trim on neckline and bodice. View C has long sleeves with ribbon ties at the wrist. Okay. I get where they were going with this. This is very much a Y2K type of design. Um, if you lived during that time, you know what I'm talking about. These silky tops with all of this lacy stuff was very popular, especially in this way. Baby doll tops are also super popular. Um, what's happening here, here specifically, feels very strange. Um, it's not happening here, so I don't know. But And also the fact that it's bias cut, but then you kind of ruin the bias cut by putting this stuff on it, because this stuff is not bias cut. So I imagine this view looks exceptional, especially compared to this one. But I do like the sleeve. I could do without this. This The way that it's sewn, um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. And it also feels lopsided. See how much more of the moon shape you get here versus here? So I don't, something, and it's like way up on her neck here too. I don't know. Something about this is just not correct. Um, and then this is giving me all kinds of concern as well. But if you look at it like, here down <laughs> it looks good I don't love the color either maybe that has something to do with why my my brain is just like rejecting this um I think for sure it's not too small here but I do think the shoulder it the length of the shoulder is too short which is shocking because normally I'm always complaining that they're too long but I think it needs to be out by I don't know even like a quarter of an inch to half an inch I think would help not cause this pulling which is calling causing this pulling um it's not happening as bad over here but I think that's because she's tilting her body do you see what I mean okay so then there's a bad illustration okay that's fine um let me see the back okay oh wow it's even worse in the back so do you, do you guys want to take a guess? Take a guess in your mind before I say it. But yeah, it's way too tight through here. So see how all of this is just pointing, pointing, pointing at her back. I don't think she has like an exceptionally wide back. Um, but I feel like if we added some room, added length to the shoulder length, um, and then I don't know added length this way maybe cut it you know instead of cutting on the center back um give yourself like i don't know she needs like a lot more ease there all of this just feels so 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 tight um which is what is causing all of this in the sleeve so yeah wild okay so that's that issue the rest of it honestly looks pretty good i just think she needs some more room through the upper back which is like a problem people already have with with sewing patterns being too narrow through the back so the fact that this one's just like extra narrow is 
very, very concerning. So definitely muslin the back of this one, which I feel like I never say. I'm never like, be sure to muslin the back. Um, but no, you want to check that upper back width for sure. So lightweight, drapey fabrics, choose your shine, um, Shally, Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, Georgette, all the silky types that are in the Joanne silky type section would work. Um, and then lightweight fusible. So then you'll need an invisible zipper, which I think it must go in the, it must go in the side. Um, double edge scallop lace trim, bias tape, and then trim and satin ribbon. So this is the same as this. C and A both have the trim, the neckline trim. Also for a double edge scallop lace trim to go in the underbust, I guess. One package of bias tape. No, that's it. So you're buying double edge and then you're only using one of the edges in the neckline? I don't know. And then if we see, it's three inch wide double edge scallop lace trim. So from what they're saying, these two things would be the same. If you use their calculations, this and this would look the same. They're not the same. Maybe that's what's throwing me off about it. I didn't even realize that before. But yeah, they're not telling you to buy two different trims. They're only telling you to buy the one. What's happening? They're only telling you to buy the one. So... I don't know why there's two different versions in the sample. Anyways, okay, eight to 26 in the size range. We have three inches of ease in the bust and then a bunch in the waist. That's fine because it's kind of like, you know, baby doll A-line. Um, but yeah, the three inches in the bust does make sense. Um, so yeah, that seems actually pretty good considering what's happening in the back, my gosh. Um, okay, so... Next, we have a bolero and jacket. This has to have been inspired by Emily in Paris. That girl wears more of these types of jackets than anyone I've ever seen. Um, so now I almost just like when I see one, kind of like when you think of um, Sarah, M nope, not Sarah Michelle Geller, Sarah Jessica Parker, and you think of um, Sex in the City, you think of that tool skirt. <laughs> I'm kind of starting to relate you know, little bolero jackets to that Emily character. Um, sizing is 8 to 16, 18 to 26, trendy boleros, and jacket with seaming details have wide collar and shoulder pads. View B, bolero has contrast. Where? Views A and B have open front. View C has sew on snaps. It is quite cute. What is the contrast they speak of? This is all made it's not just purchase striped fabric. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Wait, it is. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. This is a McCall's pattern? That's kind of impressive. Yeah, all these are two different fabrics. Look at, okay, okay, okay. This is, I'm impressed. I thought this was just a striped fabric. But knowing that you can create your own effect with whatever fabrics you want, that... Uh, Okay. Okay, McCall's. I mean, look how chic this looks. Beautiful face framing. I love how oversized it is. I'm impressed. I like the shorter version best. I don't, maybe because it's my body type, that's what looks best. But yeah, quite stunning. I don't know if black and cream, like that, those two polar opposites are what I would do, but definitely something to think about um yeah my brain is like spinning thinking of different ideas and i mean this arm is bent so try not to look at that one because it looks kind of twisted but look how cool just this looks when you can see hmm what's the back look like that's a full denim one which would also be super cute and very wearable please show us the back thank you okay oh yeah, so now you can tell it's not like a fully striped jacket. 
good on McCall's for creating a sample that really made the design shine in a cool modern way. Um, I wouldn't have probably given this a second thought if I had just seen it all in denim, but seeing it like this, it feels, I don't know, special, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really freaking cool. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So cotton blends, denim, velveteen, and wool blends are what they are recommending. I'm sure you could still do things like boucle. You could do brocade. I mean, these are really just kind of like mid-weight woven fabrics. So think about mid-weight woven fabrics that you normally would buy in the spring and summertime. They still exist. Um, they're just not, you know, these specifically. Um, like a corduroy is an example. Boucle is an example. So lots of different options. Um, yeah, I, I definitely, this has got to be so fun to make, first of all. And secondly, like, yeah, I would want to find like the coolest fabrics or if I did lean into the stripe of it all, like figuring out a way to make it not look so like more my style, which is more of like a, I guess I'm like a seventies girly. So if I could figure out a way to make it like a little more boho, like imagine wearing it with um, flare jeans, like something along that rather than like whatever she's wearing, like pencil pants. Um, like this is not my vibe. I don't go out looking like this, but if I could turn this into something that fits in with my aesthetic, that would be so fun. So this is going to be percolating for a minute. Um, it is lined at least partially. Let's see lining. Maybe just the sleeves are lined. I mean, it is such a small little jacket, so it could be the whole thing. Um, body measure, the, uh, finished garment measurements are on the, we're not going to get them here. Um, it doesn't look like there's, I, I don't see a single fit issue. Um, the shoulder pads are doing their job. The sleeve looks straight and great and there's no pulling or anything happening anywhere. Um, probably like four ish inches in the bust. And then almost here, you can see that there's like four or five in the waist too, maybe, but yeah, everything looks really good fit wise impressive okay well oh speaking of flare pants i love a flared pant all right so we've got sizes 8 to 16 18 to 26 so this is the higher end of their mrs size range i'm very concerned about being able to see her belly button i mm. y2k inspired pants so <laughs> Remember what I said about the top? They're definitely like trying to lean into that, which like I get it. That show um, Tell Me Lies, I think really helped spawn all of this among the younger kids, like wanting to wear the stuff we wore in the 90s and the early 2000s. But yeah, Brittany, like we don't need that again. We don't need, that was bad the first time. And you know what's so funny that I just realized as I was saying that, Whenever I would post stuff it, like that um, was popular in like the 80s, so many of you would comment like, it was so bad the first time. Why are we doing it again? But I never related because I was born in the 80s and I wasn't like a grown adult dressing myself in the 80s. And I literally just caught myself saying that. Like, I've officially graduated, you guys. Like, retro clothing is now something that I used to buy for myself and I had an opinion about and like <laughs> oh my gosh I feel like I feel like I've just come of age <laughs> what an experience I'm so glad I caught that like live as this is happening anyways Y2K flare pants have wide waistband belt loops with button detail fly front zipper and pocket variations all right so they don't mention anything about a low rise, but that's definitely what we've got. Of course, you could adjust them, but we've got plenty of flared pants that are already adjusted for a high rise. So you're really only buying these if you want them to sit at your high hip. <laughs> Which, more power to you if you've got the body yaddy yaddy to do that. I would just look like a big, like, Buddha. Like a big pumpkin. I don't know. 
We've got the little 3D pockets. I do love that design. We've got little patch pockets with welt openings, it looks like. These little fold over and button um, belt loop things are kind of cute. And then of course the very, very wide flare. It's interesting, there's a lot happening. Okay, so we've got the low rise, which is a design detail in and of itself. We've got the cargo pockets and the flare. So it's like flared low rise cargo pants. That's a, that's one too many things happening. This version without the cargo probably reads a little better. I think because they made that other version, the sample in corduroy, they're getting, dare I say, better at picking sample fabrics. This kind of makes sense in corduroy. Um... It's just odd. Oops, gosh, I was hoping I wouldn't do that this video. It's just kind of odd to have all those things um, happening at once. I, I don't hate it. It's just, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But man, these do actually kind of fit her pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Um, maybe, maybe a little bit uh, could be, I'm going to say it, scooped here. She needs a little bit more room for her bum, but not a, not a ton by any means. So yeah, they're actually pretty good. If I ever get a flat belly again, it then I'll stop wearing high rise. That's I wear high rise because it acts as a girdle. <laughs> Who's with me? Uh, chino, corduroy, denim, twill. Yeah, any of your bottom weights for sure. Um a little zipper, a seven inch zipper. I don't even think you're going to use all of that. And then finished garment measurements. They're only giving us the hip, which makes sense because it doesn't even go up to the waist. But in the hip, you have one and a half inches of ease. Um, that's a little, that's tight. Uh, maybe if you got like a stretch chino, stretch dwill, stretch denim, that would give you a little bit more ease of movement. Um, I do think with that, when you like the problem we had when we were when we were wearing these the first time around, whenever you go to sit down, it is going to pull them down. There's just not enough ease through here to keep them up. But maybe like a stretch version of any of those fabrics would help. We have oh, Brandy, I'm kind of surprised. Um, this isn't really anything like her other patterns. Uh, six to fourteen, sixteen to twenty-four, Mrs. Dress. Flowy mid calf length dress has front button opening, contrast collar, puff sleeves with sleeve bands, gathers at shoulders, circle skirt, side seam pockets, and narrow hem. Yeah, it's just giving 40s vibes. I don't I don't know that I picked her for like a vintagey girl, but I mean maybe. I thought she was a little bit more edgy, I guess. Um yeah. All right. Okay. I've just got to get over the fact that she designed this and pretend that somebody else did. I don't know. Um, so we've got the collar. She has the pearl buttons with the loops, um, a little gathered sleeve with a sleeve band. There's a circle skirt seam somewhere, maybe here, Empire Waist. But the circle skirt with the buttons is causing something here. The back with a twirl moment. The back looks pretty. There is a center back seam. Your zipper probably goes in here. Um, yeah, so it, it can't be a full circle though, right? It's gotta be a partial circle. Oh, it had shoulder gathers too. Okay, Shally, cotton blends, crepes. Yeah, any of your lightweight wovens, I think, would work for this. If you did use a cotton blend, it would be a little bit more structured and stand away from your body a little bit more. And then for the collar, you could do it out of Charmeuse. Um, 16 shank buttons. And then ease-wise, we've got 5 inches in the bust, uh, 2 in the waist, and then a bunch in the hip. Yeah, that makes sense. Five is a little bit much. You, if you're in between, you could definitely size down. Um, but you don't want it to pull across here at all, no matter what you're doing. So, Yeah, I mean, it's made well. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's just not, 
not screaming to me. It's not, not really all that memorable, maybe. It feels like maybe we've done it. Um, feels kind of like, maybe because it, you know what? Maybe I have some bias because it's hers. Like, if I had seen this on this girl, I probably wouldn't have thought twice of it. But for her, I'm expecting, there is an expectation of something that I'm just not getting out of that pattern. Okay, we have a nightgown. Mrs. and Women's nightgown sizes 10 to 18 and 20 women's to 28 women's. This is not the same as 20 that would be attached to here. So you're actually missing Mrs. sizes 20 through 26 and you're missing women's sizes. Is 20 the smallest? Yeah, 20 is the smallest women's. So you're actually missing a whole bunch of Mrs. sizes because you're also missing four through eight. So if you're a mid-size misses, great. If you're a lower end women's, great. Everybody else, you like you'd have to make your own adjustments. Bias cut though, pullover nightgown in two links has straps, deep V neckline with gathers above the bust. Did they just say above the bust again? Maybe above the bust line is what they're trying to say. Anyways, and lace trim. Robe has long sleeves with lace trim, pleats and gathers at waist. And contrast sash. There is a sew along. Brittany Jones did it. So what do we have here? We have this little slip dress with the same, pretty much the same detail as the very first dress we looked at. Spaghetti straps. B is the same thing, but has this long like trumpet type thing attached to it. That's that's a lot for sleeping. Um, these little things, I wear these all the time. I find them at Goodwill. Don't judge me if you think that's disgusting. Obviously, I wash them, but, um, they are so comfortable to sleep in, lounge around in, and to have a little matching robe. I mean, come on. It would be very, gone, not gone with the wind. Uh, what's the soap opera actress that got nominated all those times and never won? Um, an Emmy, Susan Sarandon? No, but something like that. Um, very dramatic daytime diva situation. I, I think they put her in sparkly heels. Whoever's doing the styling the day of, we need a replacement because I'm still thinking about the freaking Snuggie from Butterick's Connect Collection with the high heel and I just, I can't get over it. I just cannot get over it. We're also not going to, I mean, that is a beautiful line drawing. We're also not going to get any, oh, here we go. Just kidding. We do get, oh, kind of scandalous. There's, that's high. That's high. Um, it is bias cut, so it's fitting her like a dream. Oh, they're flats, but they're, they're not house shoes. You know what I mean? Like, I guess they're technically a slipper, but they're, they're, that's real fancy. Real fancy for just schlepping around the house. Um, but I guess this woman does not schlep anywhere, right? We don't get any pictures of the front of the of the little dress. Hmm. But yeah, that's... <laughs> don't look too close. Uh, maybe it was too scandalous from the front. Because it is... I mean, well, I don't know. They've shown some pretty scandalous stuff here. Uh, Shally, Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, and Georgette. Yeah, all your lightweight drapeys. Um, I've even, um, some of these things that I bought from Goodwill have even come out of like a really lightweight cotton jersey or a rayon jersey. Those work really well as well. Um, you need a ton of notions. I'm not going to read through all of them, but lots of notions for lingerie as always. Um, there's your sizes. Okay, so we have three and a half inches of ease in the bust. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah, it, you could go down a little bit. But yeah, you want to be able to move around and sleep and all that stuff. Um, if you did it out of the jersey, you could definitely size down. Um, and then the hip would be the next thing I would personally care about. And we have almost five inches of ease there. So that seems fine. Um, yeah, what a dramatic thing to make for yourself. So fun. Different. I certainly don't have a lot of patterns like that in my stash. Also, for a fall pattern, I mean, they did make it out of black, but <laughs> I think most people are probably, like, wanting to wear the snuggy thing in the fall and <laughs> not that sexy thing. 
Uh, Mrs. Jacket and Best, sizes alphanumeric, extra small through 2X, all in one. Get ready for fall with these stylish utility jackets and vests in sizes XS through 2XL. Jackets have hood with snaps, long sleeves with snap opening at wrist, zip front, front closure, pocket variations. View B has drawstring at him, vest has drop shoulders, snaps over zipper opening. That's a really nice detail. And front accordion pockets with welts. Accordion pockets are what those are called. I kept calling them 3D pockets, but accordion pockets. Okay, I'll commit that to memory. Um, but yeah, it's your like Carhartt-ish type of pattern. Um, I do feel like we've seen these before, but it might be more prevalent in indie patterns actually than Big Four. I don't know that Big Four has ever really produced a true like utility jacket. But there's a lot of great details happening here. Um, we've got the welted flap pocket. This pocket is an accordion pocket that's also got a welt in it. Like, look, her hand is here, which is important because I remember when I made my version of this, and I can't remember, I swear it was an indie pattern. You guys are probably, y'all know what talk, I'm talking about. Maybe it was a closet core pattern. I don't remember. It was green. I don't have it anymore. I don't know why. Where did, what happened to that thing? I don't know. Anyways you know, when you want to go put your hands in your pockets and you have a uh, flap, you, you can't do that, that it, it doesn't work. But to have this in addition to that makes a ton of sense. So you can put your hands in your pockets and also carry things. Um, we've got the flap with the snaps that snap over the zipper that keeps it warmer and also more sturdy. And I think it's better for the zipper too. We've got this little tabby thing that crosses around your neck two-piece sleeve it's a little long on the sleeve and then draw strings in here so yeah lots of good details the cropped version's really adorable no pockets at all so that would be a really quick sew there's the little vest oh and a hood yeah obviously good shape hood a little big in the opening um what i find about hoods that are shaped this way is that if there's wind in addition to rain, which usually those three things are, you know, they co they coincide when, especially in the Southeast, this just blows off because it's like a, it becomes like a balloon or a kite or something and the wind catches in here and just blows it right off. So I need like a little smaller opening or a drawstring to help adjust that myself. Um, there's also a back dart looking thing. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It has all the details there. Cotton blends, denim, nylon, twill. Yeah, they do have some um, like treated, like think about waxed cotton. I think they have a similar thing for twill maybe. All the water resistant fabrics could be an option. Um, and some of them are definitely heavier weight than nylon for sure. Um, interesting. All right, lining fabrics, fusible interfacing. Again, a bunch of metal notions is really what your zippers and snaps and things like that. All the sizes come in one. So we're looking at a bunch of ease in the waist or in the bust. Sorry, we're looking at like 11 inches. Uh, it is a lot. Um, it is a lot. Uh, is it too much? I would go, I would try and land somewhere between eight and 11 which I think is what happens when you have these ranges anyways. Yeah, so if you're in between, like if you're a 33, for example, size down. If you like closer fitting things, size down. Otherwise, you might be okay with just the size that you're in. Um, and it's just a full box. So the, um, the waist and the hip are probably also 41 inches for the smallest size, which gives you plenty of ease in the waist, plenty of ease in the, in the hip as well. Very detailed. That's that's impressive for McCall's one ninety nine pattern. You know, two bucks for all that detail. Okay, this is fun. It's called a blazer dress. It is sized eight to sixteen and eighteen to twenty six. Classy and sophisticated blazer wrap dresses have sleeve variations and attached belt with purchased rectangle ring and snap closure. Views A and B have collar, lapel, pleated skirt. View A dress is sleeveless and has contrast on collar and lapel. View B has long sleeves and contrast on the left side of the dress. So color blocked. Um, 
Okay, so they really leaned into the blazer of it all. It's kind of like a little deconstruction moment um, where they've got the notched collar like a blazer does. You've got the little breast pocket like a blazer does. And you even have the little flap pocket um, like a blazer does, except it just wraps like a dress. That's so fun. So fun. And they did it out of a suiting fabric, so... Yeah, what an interesting take. If I worked in an office, like if I were a lawyer, <laughs> I would for sure wear this. Um, I do think we're having some more issues. I don't know if it's the back, but you can see here, it's just pulling from the shoulder to the front. Um, it just looks like it's really kind of taut through here. Um, and then when she has her hand up, you can see she can't really move her body that much. All of this starts pointing to that that one point on the arm side that always seems to be an issue for Big Five. Always. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can see. Oh, and then I, well, let's look at them this way. Um, there's that version. This is really cute with the hound's tooth. Even if it were like a, not a suiting fabric, that could be really a uh, much more um, like casual, dare I say, maybe not casual, maybe just more of like a dress and less of like a suit. Do you know what I mean? And then you have this version, which is the most casual of them all. Um, and that's probably some kind of, they're doing like a floral that's the same, but I was picturing like linen would be really good. Um, you could make it as casual as you wanted. You could do two colors of denim, um, two colors of corduroy, you could do cotton, all kinds of things. Yeah, she's ready to take names, huh? Okay, so across the back, you can see, again, this is where all those things are pointing, is through here. Maybe she does have a really wide back. That's the same girl as before, right? Maybe she does. I don't know, but yeah, it would be not unheard of for them to have the same problem on more than one pattern but the fact that it's also the same model now i'm starting to think maybe it's less to do with the pattern and more to do with her body like as a fit model for mccall's block um probably isn't the best match um because you can see here it's just really tight here and then loosens up and then becomes tight again so definitely some issues through the back there but what a cute, fun, fun, fun design. Super fun. Okay. So cotton blends, gabardine, twill, and wool. But again, this is just for like fall suggestions. If you wanted to make it out of spring versions, summer versions, you could definitely do that um, with the fabrications you would see mentioned during those times, like chambray, like eyelet, seersucker, you know, things like that. Um, all you need is one ring and one snap. Two very easy notions. Uh, eight to 26 is the size range. Mm, finish measurement wise or ease wise, we've got a lot of ease in the bust, five and a half inches. Sometimes I wonder, especially when it's a wrap, or I think they might be measuring, including the part that gets crossed over because you can tell on her, this is this, she does not have five inches of ease. There's just no way. But I wonder if they're calculating the extra fabric that's crossed, that's overlapped whenever they do those measurements. You definitely don't want five inches of ease. You want something closer to like three, maybe, maybe less than that. Um, so double check that. Your waist is kind of negligible because you have the little belt that you can make tighter and then hip is like a pretty wide skirt so I think this one's super fun and different and cute I'm here for it oh also I'm just noticing oh wait let's go this way I'm also just now noticing that's a dart and then you have a fisheye in the front fisheye on both sides of the front here oh also only one side is pleated this is so stinking cute i can see taylor swift wearing this in her plaid slash schoolgirl era obviously hers would be way shorter but 
inter I'm here. I like that. I like that. That's a, I something new and different. Basics with a twist, which is also just my go-to general style. Um, okay, so this is a Melissa Watson pattern. So she's designing for Palmer Plush now. Palmer Plush are the ones who kind of, I guess they invented the tissue fitting method. So if you want some practice on fitting, um, these are the patterns to get. The patterns are marked. The actual patterns are marked with where you make pattern adjustments. So if you need to increase the rise, there will be a line for that. If you need to do a full seat adjustment, there will be, you know, information for that. All in the pattern, all in the instructions, all there for you. 8 to 16, 18 to 26. Waistband with elastic back. Okay. Fly front zipper, hook and bar closure, belt loop slash pockets. Complete the look with jacket M80504. Why isn't there a link? There should be a link here. Um... But we would expect for these to be exceptionally fitting. They are. They look great on her. Perfect little trouser. Great. Perfect. The elastic back, though, that's what's really getting me. Um, that feels like a little bit cheating for them. Like, this is obviously aiding with the fit. Um, but part of me is also like fitting the crotch is the hardest part of a pant. So if you taught people how to do that really, really well, then they could apply that to the rest of their pants patterns and then work on the waistband later. Plus also Palmer Plush probably has a normal waisted band, waistbanded pant in their collection somewhere. They do a lot of like basic stuff. So yeah, I could be convinced that this, that that's suitable for Palmer Plush. Uh, cotton blends, do peony, fail, linen, raw silk taffeta. So again, they're going for like the holiday type thing, but this is a pant. Okay. So you could do all of the bottom weights. You could do the wools and the tweeds and the gabardines and all the things. Um, basic pant notions, um, including elastic and then hip finish garment measurements are four inches. Perfect. Their, their designs are usually never anything like super like trendy. They're usually pretty basic because again, they want you to focus on fit. Once you get that, then you can start adding on all the things. So here's a menswear pattern. Um, oh, 34 to 42, 44 to 52. I don't understand. That's, is that a man's waist? Those are waists, right? I don't I don't know how they work. Um, cargo style shorts and pants have pocket variations. Waistband with belt loops, front fly zipper, button closure. View A shorts have hem band. So again, this is like very Y2K. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. It's um too tight through here. It's like tight in the wrong places and loose in the wrong, it, mm, the balance is off for me, I guess. If it were like less big here and more big here, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. It's also like, he looks so short. Like look how short his legs look like little person legs. And I'm sure he's not a little person. Oh, here's the back. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm not feeling it. I know. That looks fine. This part is strange. It's doing weird things to his body, and that, that's odd. All of this looks great. I think they tried to make them low rise, but men's low, I don't know. I don't know. Cotton blends, denim and twill, a zipper and a button. And then I don't fully understand the sizing on men's as I clearly explained earlier. So we're just going to skip over that part. Um, yeah, we're going to move on from that. <laughs> There's always one. There's always one. Okay, we have a knit jumpsuit. 
Okay, so they have made this out of sequins, okay? But I understand we're not all going to a 1970s themed um, disco slash shoot. What was that club in New York that everyone, Studio 54, like I get we're not going there. Um, we're going to talk about some ways to make this <laughs> slightly less. It will always be a knit jumpsuit that's very fitted, but it maybe could be a little bit more palatable for the everyday woman. So let me get to th through this first part. So six to 14, 16 to 24 flare leg jumpsuits with lined bodice have crossover or scoop front halter neckline, elastic at waist, invisible zipper closure, narrow hem view B jumpsuit has contrast bodice. Okay. Here's, oops, here's Raven. Raven's a normal girl. I think she lives in or near Atlanta. Like, yes, she's going out. This is, you're not wearing this to the office. You're not wearing this to a doctor's appointment. You're not wearing this to Target unless you're like grabbing an earring before you head to the club. But in a club setting, she would look spectacular. Okay, so taking a look at this. We have the kind of like squared neckline, which I don't hate. The strap is kind of showing a lot of shoulder, which is really flattering. We've got the waist seam sitting at the waist. I'm here for that. The rise on her looks really good. I do think that Raven's rise is a little bit long for her, just a little bit. Um, but on the model, who's clearly very tall, um, yeah, it looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay, we've also got a couple of other versions here. We have this cross, that's the one Raven made, right? And then we've got this contrast bodice version as well, which they've illustrated here with two different types of sequins or sequins and I don't know, two different types. Um, oh, there's the back. So the strap does definitely like lean toward kind of like a halter shape at first. And then we get the little scoop in the back. The fitting of the back is pretty darn good. Oh, geez, sorry. Um, I mean, it's a little costumey done out of this. And you definitely have to have some aspect of your life, you know, needs to fit in with like, I mean, you're just not running errands in this. You're not like going to the school pickup line in this. Like <laughs> you're definitely, it's either an event, it's a date night, it's a club, it's a cruise, it's a, another kind of vacation. Like it's a special thing. I don't, it's not every day. Um, but you could definitely tone it down some too. So stretch knits such as interlock jerseys, novelty knits, sequin knit. See stretch gauge, boo. McCalls, if you're watching, I want to know what the stretch is so I can go buy my fabric. We cannot buy fabric in person anymore. Okay, those stores don't exist. So we're buying it online. We need to know what this is before we buy the pattern. Otherwise, we have to order the pattern, wait for it to be shipped, get it, then order. It just takes too long. I could be ordering the fabric while I'm waiting on my pattern to be shipped. Okay, thank you. If sequin will be used, it's recommended to use lining in the entire garment. Instructions are included. Good for them. Thinking through, a little customer experience action there. Invisible zipper, another one for A, because the back is so short. No. The back is longer? I don't know. Anyways, zippers. Swimwear buckle closure with swimwear buckle closure also for A. Swim oh, at the neckline. At the neckline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, great. So we've got sizes 6 to 24. We should be seeing some negative ease here. Yes. So we've got two and a half inches of negative ease in the bust. Exceptional. Two inches of negative ease in the waist. Great. And what is that? Three of negative in the hip. Perfect. Perfect. It is going to be stretchy. It is going to be tight. You're going to feel locked and loaded. It looks great on her. It really, really does. And she's a curvy girl. Um, okay. 
I actually, I don't hate that one. Uh, there's a time and place for it. This, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Okay. Costumes we're going to skip, skip, skip the dolls, skip the kids. All right. Vintage. So 1970s. Calling my name, jacket, skirt, and pants. Hey, hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> Sizes 6 to 16. Wow, thanks so much for that. Um, I'll be sure to tell all my, you know, petite friends <laughs> about it. Hmm. Vintage McCall's 1970s jacket, tango skirt, tango skirt, and pants sewing pattern, yoked jacket, has collar, patch pocket, sleeves gathered into button cuffs and belt, gourd skirt in three lengths, and flared pants have back zipper. So, okay, well, what is she doing with her arms? Um, I mean, it is 70s. The collar specifically about the jacket is 70s. The rest of the design I could do without. A six gourd skirt, that's nothing really, or a three, whatever it is. That's really nothing that special. And then the pant, I think is, it said it had a zipper. I'd like to see the waistband. I know we're not going to see that. Um, it's kind of unimpressive, actually. So fine, you can take your six sizes and shove it. Shally? Shally? I don't know about that. Cotton blends, cotton broadcloth, lightweight corduroy, lightweight synthetic gabardine, lightweight wool, velveteen, wool jersey, wool like blends. Yeah. Okay. Sizing, the garment measurements are not included um, here online. Oh, the pants have this situation. The pants could be good. Um, it's just so hard to tell from an illustration alone. I wish that they would make a sample out of someone from today and show us that as well. Um, like this, right? But these are, Laura Ashley always does this, uh, but I wish they did that on all of them. Vintage 1980s Laura Ashley top and skirt pattern pull over top A or B has tucked sailor collar, dickie and necktie, above elbow length sleeves with pleated cap or pleated to bands. Top A has contrast collar and sleeve bands. Full gathered skirt has shaped buttoned waistband pockets inside front seams back zipper closing. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, oh, it is a cute little sailor top. I'm 99% sure I have like baby photos of me in this when I'm like two or three years old but mine was like blue and white like navy blue and white very sailory um this little uh, uh shaped yoke is really 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 cute yeah that would look good on lots and lots of body types uh pair which is mine included the top I don't know about the top um do we see the top unbuttoned ever or untucked oh that's it's very linebackery. It's very mm, like uh, Amish, Amish vibes. It looks cuter in the line drawing. I hate when that happens. Um, Shally again. Mm, not so sure about that. Cotton, cotton blends, damask, lightweight wool crepe. Excuse me. Seersucker, silk broadcloth. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, contrast collar. And sleeve bands, solid color fabrics only. I, don't, I think I would be the judge of that. Thank you. I could definitely make it in a print if I wanted. Weird. Um, three snaps for the top and the skirt has a zipper and button. Okay, no finished garment measurements. Size 6 to 24. Yeah, I don't know why the back looked so... I was thinking maybe this little bib thing was too wide. But it does look like... Well, this one also looks like it kind of comes in a little bit. Whereas this one looks just square. So yeah, I think something has to give here. I also would have liked to see this. It said it had, what, a dicky and necktie tucked sailor collar can this be removed 
I don't know. But I will say the skirt is very, 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 very good and worth paying the $2 for this pattern. I do love that skirt very much. Very much. All right. Next, we have this 1980s jacket. It's so funny. I called out the 80s earlier and here we are. Okay. Six to 16 again. What is the point? Oh, it's infuriating. We're going backwards. Like we're supposed to be adding sizes. Like if you don't have the time, capacity, money, whatever it is to give us all the sizes, don't bother. Don't bother reproducing it. I don't I don't get it. And I will get angry. Um, vintage McCall's 1980s jacket sewing pattern, lined, fitted jackets have shape seaming, full length sleeves with gathered cap, jacket A with standing collar, and B with braid trim have unpressed pleats with I'm kind of feeling like I don't even want to look at this one. I don't want to give the, the, the time of day because like two people can wear this. And would they? <laughs> They're like, they limited the the potential customer in sizing. So you went from having, let's say, 100 people, right? are like all the customers you limited it by i don't know 80 percent. so now you got 20 people and then maybe a quarter of them even like this design so you really have like negative three people in your potential customer pool i mean okay she's cute with the matching headband but still delta burke I think she probably still has this in her closet from designing women. What, where did that come from in my brain? That was stored away somewhere safe. Jeez, the fact that I can remember stuff like that and then forget what I had for breakfast is pretty impressive. Um, so this is another Laura Ashley dress. Um, sizes 6 to 14, 16 to 24. Vintage McCall's 1980s Laura dress sewing pattern, view A or B, with or without short sleeves, have collars with ties, line bodice with front and back princess seaming, side zipper closure, full gathered skirt, side seam pocket. Uh, um, what were the sizes? Okay, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Great. So, yeah, she's sweet. She's very sweet. Very Laura Ashley with the little ditzy print cotton, but try and imagine it like in a chambray. Right. I always go denim when I'm trying to see like unsee something. I just go all one color, all denim, all chambray, which is kind of what this is. Um, but this has the sleeve on it. I could see it like for a sweet little wedding thing, you know, like if you're into vintage and, you know, you want to represent that. It's almost kind of 50s looking, which is ironic I guess you would call it um considering the 50s were all about domesticity and everything else um so wearing something like this 50s inspired to a wedding would be a nod to feminism look how far we've come okay all right the fit on those all looked really great too no issues that I saw chalet chambray cotton blends crepe de chine gingham soft cottons not suitable for diagonals um the bust does have four and a half inches of ease though again that's too much for a semi-fitted dress see it's way too much so size down um but yeah lots of great seaming details in the princess seams here let's look at the big line drawings yeah princess seams front and back and this is all seamed as well so very very full um skirt no pockets though that's kind of surprising um okay so next oh they're so cute kids kids costumes costumes dolls 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 and then these are all of the pdf versions i guess yeah all right so that's gonna do it for mccall's and this was from last season that's going to do it for McCall's fall. What did you guys think? Um, I thought that there were some standouts like this. Um, some decent basics like this. Some trendy pieces like this. 
overall these days if I find a pattern that I'm willing to buy at this point in my sewing that's a win for a collection so the fact that I found two this one and the jacket that are unlike anything in my collection thus far is is really really impressive anyways let me know what you guys thought leave your comments um, in the comment section below and I will see you all very soon bye